Hi there, I'm Chris May, host of This Day in Weather History, a podcast from the Weather Network. And for this one, we're going all the way back. We're not actually going all the way back. We're going back to 2018. It was on October 8th of that year, this day in weather history, when Hurricane Michael became the very first Category 5 hurricane to strike the continental United States since Andrew in 1992. Immediately, that took me by surprise that there had not been a Cat 5 landfall since 1992. So getting that out of the way, it was the third most intense storm of its kind when you consider barometric pressure since the 1935 Labor Day hurricane and Hurricane Camille in 1969. And I've already covered both of those hurricane stories from top to bottom on this podcast. So wherever you happen to listen to your podcast, go back and check those out and get all the details. I think you might enjoy those. It brings you up to speed. It was the first Cat 5 hurricane on record to ever hit the Florida Panhandle and the fourth strongest with wind speed to ever hit the continental United States. A lot happening with Hurricane Michael. It was the most intense hurricane on record to strike ever in the U.S. period for the month of October. It was on the 7th that it reached a tropical disturbance. On the 8th, it was called a hurricane off the tip of Cuba, and that's when it went due north and made a beeline for the panhandle. On the 9th, it grabbed itself a rapid intensification in the warm, soupy waters of the Gulf of Mexico. And then on the 10th, it landed as a Category 5 with maximum sustained winds of 160 kilometers per hour. It was Hurricane Michael, and it happened on October 8th of 2018, this day in weather history.